Hello, everybody. Can you guys hear me? No. No. You can't hear me? No. Yes, I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, guys, just a second. I'm trying, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the Zoom. Just give me a moment. Sorry guys, I don't know why it's acting up. Trying to get it to work. Okay, I think I got it to work now. Okay, there we go. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. A good um afternoon to everybody. How was your day today? It was great. Yeah? Oh yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um so um today let me let me get this straight. So today you finished your shift or today you had um you had a day off we have, we a, have day a day off, off. Have oh. a day off. okay good good that's that's excellent okay good good so you um you don't have to worry about um getting up um getting or better said uh, not sleeping enough that's good that's very very good Okay. Did you do anything special today? I sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that's special. Yeah. Anything else that you did? Yeah. Um, got to make me a haircut. You what? A haircut. I think. Oh, you got a haircut. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Anything else? Any anybody else did anything interesting today? No. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um. Well. Um. I'm not able to see everybody. Um. So I think uh, I'm gonna ask if you guys can turn on your cameras. Um, I can only see half of the class. Yeah, okay, so I'm starting to see more. Okay, I can't see Walter, Antonio, Oscar, Oriana, eh, Brian, Enrique, Adriana, Marcela. Um, I don't know if you're there. Okay, very good. ¿Se acuerdan lo que hablábamos la vez pasada de que no hay um, una, ¿cómo se llama? Mm, una, una lista de asistencia ahorita. Entonces, que vamos a tener que, eh, que depender ahí de um, tanto que ustedes pongan su nombre completo en la plataforma 
como que también eh, encendan ahí su cámara para que sabe, para saber que realmente están allí. Um, so, Oscar Orellana, no sé si está por ahí. Sí. Ok, perfecto. ¿Será posible que pueda cambiar su nombre en la plataforma? Ok. okay está bien. Perfecto, gracias. Ok, y si puede también encender su cámara, sería mucho que mejor. Ok, all right, guys. Um, well, last class, we were talking about, um, about uh, ailments, like body parts and ailments. So ailments are like mm, health problems that you may have. Yeah, health problems that, um, that are uh like common okay so not like big problems that you would go to the doctor for but instead um problems that have to do with um for example a, you know things that you can you can buy medicine over the counter do you do you understand over the counter i'll write it in the chat actually oof. I don't know if I can write in the chat because it's good. Bueno, que voy a hacer el intento. Es que le cuento que de que Zoom no sé está un poco raro y no puedo ver los botones, todos los botones de Zoom están como escondidos. Estoy tratando de, estoy como a tientas. So let me, vamos a ver cómo funciona esto. Uh, está más raro todavía. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have to... I'm going to write it in chat instead because... Yeah, this is going to be a problem in either ways. Okay. So... um. Okay. Over the counter. Okay, I wrote in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. I don't know if you're able to see it. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what is over-the-counter uh, medicine, over-the-counter drugs? Do you have any idea? No ideas? No. Okay. So this is this is medication that you can buy at the pharmacy without any prescription from the med from the doctor. So you just go and you say, Oh, I want this medicine and they give it to you. You don't need to present any um any prescription from the doctor. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, yes. I got it. Yeah, how do you say that in Spanish? Over the counter medic medi medicine. Medicina sin prescripción. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, medicina sin prescripción o, o de venta libre, we call them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it means that you don't need, you, you don't need a doctor's uh, note or anything to be able to buy it, you can buy it. So can you give me examples of over-the-counter drugs or medic medicine? Antiallergic. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. So, yes. The, the, the like, uh, Panadol. <laughs> uh-huh, okay, good. 
Exactly. So that's actually what we're going to do right now. I'm going to be sharing um, this screen. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Okay, so this is uh, the type of medication that you can buy over the counter. So we have antacid. So that antacid. is when, yeah, antacid. Antacid medication is when you, um, when you eat something and it, uh, it gives you too much um, as acidity in your stomach and it makes your stomach very sick. So you feel bad. You, you feel like you want to vomit, throw up because, or, or sometimes it gives you like gases because, um, we have, yeah, you, you, the food is not good for your stomach. So that's antacid. Can you repeat antacid? Antacid. Everybody? Antacid. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Ex excellent. We also have aspirin. 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 Yes. Okay. So aspirin. Do you guys understand aspirin? Is, I, I, I think it's pretty common, right? Everybody understands aspirin, right? Okay. So we use aspirin. A, it could be like for painkiller. Okay. That's another word. Uh, we see a photo of the chat being so uh already in the, the zoom chat. Okay, so painkiller. Do you know what a painkiller is? Yes. Yes. I thought. How do you what do you how, what do you call painkillers in Spanish? I don't know. I heard that word in a song. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. What's what's a painkiller? In Spanish? Yeah. Pastillas para el dolor. Mm -hmm. Pastillas para el dolor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and, and, and properly named, it's analgesico. Right? Okay. And um, so those, so uh, aspirin is a type of a painkiller. Okay. Um, okay. There's also another painkiller that is very common is um, Tylenol, okay. which is actually a cinnamonophen. A cinnamonophen. So Tylenol is the name of a painkiller. And um, it's called, the type of painkiller is called acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Yeah. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Yeah. Okay. And what's another one? Oh, another one that's very common, paracetamol. 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 Can you repeat? Paracetamol. 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 Yeah, paracetamol. Paracetamol. Good. Okay. So those are very common painkillers together with aspirin. Then we have here muscle cream. Muscle cream? Muscle yeah. cream. Muscle, muscle cream. cream. Yeah. So mm -hmm. muscle, mm -hmm. so muscle cream, it it could be a muscle cream is is to for your muscles, you know, to like when you have pain or when you have when it's like really really tight, you can actually call call what we call, we we can use what we call muscle relaxant. And, wow. Yeah, muscle relaxant. Can you repeat? Muscle relaxant. Muscle relaxant. Muscle mm -hmm. relaxant. Mm -hmm. A muscle relaxant is a type of medication that relaxes your muscles 
when they are too tight, too stressed, and it helps you to um, to not have pain for your muscles. So muscle relaxant can be used. You can drink, you can take it by mouth, or it could be like also in cream. Okay. All right. Like, all right. Um, then we have cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough Can you? Syrup. Cough, yeah. syrup. cough 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 syrup. Syrup. Cup syrup. syrup. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Cup syrup. Yeah. Cup syrup. Cup syrup. Yeah. And cup syrup is, uh, is when you basically, it's, um, it's medication to calm down your, when you have too much a cough. Your cough is when you go, <coughs> right? So when you are coughing a lot, um, then you might um, drink some, or you might, yeah, you may drink some cough syrup. Also, it's possible to have to use cough drops. Cough drops are um, medication that you can use um, also to calm the cough, to make it smooth, right? So something like Halls. Halls are a cough drop, okay? So can you repeat after me? Cough drops. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Okay. Then we have cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Yeah, cold pills. What are cold pills? Those are pills that you use when you have a cold, right? When when you have symptoms like a cough and a runny nose, right? Can you give me examples of cough pills? Sorry, of, of cold pills? Um, yes. An example of a cold pill? Beetle grip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. Beetle grip would be a cold pill, an, an example of a cold pill. Okay. So everybody repeat after me. Cold pill. Cold pill. Cold pill. Cold pill. Cold, cold pill. Mm -hmm. cold, cold pill. Yeah, exactly. Um. Like there's also other ones like night quill, right? Uh, day quill, right? So you can also have that. And finally, over here we have a eye drops. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? No. No? No questions? No, it's okay. Um... Okay, and then we have um, what we it then even though it's not here, but we also can have what we call insets. Okay, they are commonly called insets. Okay, insets, and what inset stands for is non. Um, 
Hold on. Well, actually, mm. <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, hold on. Non. Let me try to figure. Okay, so it's non steroid, steroidal, anti inflammatory. anti-inflammatory drugs okay that's what it stands for okay insets are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and those are things like for example ibuprofen you know ibuprofen yes yes yeah. Yeah. Um ibuprofen. Um also could be um naproxen. Naproxen. Things like that. Um yeah. Do you have any questions about that? No. No? No, no questions? I'll give you another one that is very common. Uh, this one. It's also very, very common uh, as, an, uh, as an inset or an anti- a uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, a diclofenac. Can you repeat that? Diclofenac. Diclofenac. Okay. So those are very common um, a drugs, a medication that you can use for a common ailment. So if you have a cold or you fell and um, you twisted your ankle and it's inflamed or if you um you know you're yeah you're having a headache or um a backache etc cetera, etc cetera, you can use these type of medications do you have any questions about this no okay all right so it sounds like you guys understand this pretty good okay so let's um continue here we have this conversation and i want to it's a conversation between um dr young and miss west okay and um, i'm going to a, read the conversation and you can listen and repeat. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. West. How are you today? How, How are, are you today? today? Not so good. Not, Not so, so good. good. Not good. <clears throat> so what's wrong exactly? So what's what's wrong? Wrong? I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so <laughs> tired? Hmm. Why, are, Why you so are you so tired? tired? I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I just, I just can't sleep, can't sleep, sleep at night. night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, okay, okay let's, let's take, take a, a look, look at, at you. you. A few minutes later. A few, a few minutes, minutes later. later. I'm going to give you some pills. I'm, I'm going, going to, to give you some pills. 
Take one pill every night. After dinner. After dinner. Okay. Okay. And don't drink coffee. And don't drink coffee. Tea or soda. Tea or soda. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Yes. Don't work yeah. too hard. Yes. yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Dr. Young? Yeah, Dr. Dr. Young. Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Can you repeat the pronoun of ex exhausting? Yeah, no problem. Ex exhausted. 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 What? Anything else? Anything else? No? No other? No other questions? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to ask you to do, you're going to practice this conversation with a partner. Oh, man. Okay. Let's... Um, I'm going to share in the WhatsApp group. I will share this um this conversation and i want you to practice it with a partner one time uh, you will practice and you will be dr young and the other time you will be miss west okay all right i just want to make sure oh, man, this is really difficult because Okay, I'm going to have to share again because I can't seem to be able to do the the groups this way. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm opening the groups right about now. Eh, Ernesto, Oscar, ¿algún problema para entrar? Hola Ernesto, hola Oscar. Oscar, Ernesto. else yes don't work too hard 
All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Uh, yes. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so well. So what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything, anytime else. Yes, don't work too hard. I write. Thanks, Dr. Jung. Ahí tenemos otro ahí para que practique con él ahí. No, es la teacher. A la teacher. Yes. Y hoy le volvemos a dar. Yes. I am Dr. Jung. Yes. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, si sí, yo porque de la plataforma casi al, al mismo tiempo la voy resolviendo. Ah, sí, no. no, yo. Bueno, a ver, me pongo a. a igual, a ver si me adelanto, a ver si me atraso. Y por lo menos yo ahorita yo estoy tratando de ir así por... Okay, guys and girls, how are you doing? Did you were you able to practice? Any any questions about the about the conversation? No, no questions about the conversation. No, everything is. It's okay. Everything is okay? Yeah? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Excellent. So now um, we are going to continue. And I want to know if you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. yes. Good. So we're going to look at um, what we call the imperatives. Imperatives are words or sorry, the structure that we use when we are giving um, orders, directions, and encouragement. Do you understand orders? Do you understand orders? Yes. yes. Yeah, but it's orders. What are orders? Hey. Order. 
So it's like uh, it's like that example. For example, take a pill every four hours. Mm -hmm. Or gonna stay late by night. I guess is that uh, order. Yeah. Okay. So orders are, um, we like orders are things that like you want the person to follow. Okay. In Spanish, how would you say orders? Orders. Spanish. Mm -hmm. They're very ordenes. simple. Ordenes. Ordenes. Yeah, exactly. Ordenes. Simple as that. So when you want to um, give an order, right? Um, so you are telling, you want to um, tell a person, do this, like a, like a boss, for example, or give directions. Okay, so give directions. Do you understand give directions? Yes. Yeah. How would you say give directions in Spanish? Da directrice, dirección, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Da directrices, or we can also call them like indicaciones, right? Okay. Give directions. Okay. And encouragement. Sorry, this should be encouragement. What does it mean, encouragement? Do you have any idea? It's like when I yeah. said, uh huh, yes. Estimulos. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you say, for example, come on, go, let's go, you can do it, right? Yeah, don't give up. Um, you've got this. So that's encouragement. So you are telling the person to continue, not to give up. Okay. So like, mm -hmm. motivation. Yeah, exactly. Like motivating someone. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So that's we use imperatives. All right. Got it? Any questions about this? No? It's clear for everybody, understanding imperatives? More or less, more or less. Okay, so imperatives are the structure that you use to give these things. So, like when you, in Spanish, think about it in Spanish. When you give an order in Spanish, como se da una orden en español? For example, uh, quiero que, um, quiero, que uh, uh, quiero que usted me ayude. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo lo expreso en español? Can you help me? In Spanish, in Spanish. Ah. In Spanish. Hmm? Yo quiero que usted me ayude. ¿Cómo lo expreso? Eh, necesito que me ayude con esa tarea. Por ejemplo. Ajá, pero ese no es una, una orden o una indicación. Quería decir, es una petición. ¿Me puedes ayudar yes. con esto? No, me ayuda en verdad no. esta actividad. Esa es una petición, ¿verdad? Pero sí, Edwin. Ayúdame. 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 Con esto. Exacto. Ayúdame con eso. Ok. Si quiero, si quiero que la persona se siente. Siéntate. Siéntese. Siéntate. Siéntate o siéntese. Exactly. Eh, si quiero decirle a la persona que no quiero que, que, que se dé por vencida o por vencido. Sigue adelante. Sigue adelante. 
see it. So do you see this is that's what it is imperative. It's the structure that we use to give orders, directions, or encouragement. Okay? Mm -hmm. So in English, the way that we use imperative is very simple. All we do is we use the verb in the base form. So we don't change anything. We don't change the verb. We just put the verb in the base form. Take, rest, drink. Okay? So we use the verb in the base form. You don't put S. You don't put ES. You don't put IES. You don't put ING. You don't put ED. Nothing. You don't put to. You don't change anything. You just put the verb in the original form. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? So no, yes. no change. You don't change anything about the verb. Okay? All right. And then, of course, if it's necessary, and then, of course, we have the, the, um, the compliment, right? A pill every four hours in bed. Lots of juice. Okay. Now, if you if if what you want is that the person doesn't do that that thing, so you you don't want the person to do something. In that case, you're always going to say, "Don't." I'm sorry. Then you're going to always say, "Don't." For example. Don't work too hard. Or don't stay up late. Or for example, don't drink soda. We're always going to start with don't. Okay? And then, of course, we use the verb in, sorry, that we use a complement. Actually, this is up as part of the, the, the verb. So I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. Do you have any questions about this? So that is in the negative. So normally we just put the verb in the base form, no change. But if you want to make it negative, we say don't. Okay? Any questions about that? No questions about this? No, I got it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, I want you to also notice one more thing. When you are making imperatives, do you use the subject? Can you see a subject here? No. Hay un sujeto, sí o no? No. no. I guess no. No, there's no subject. Why? It's an order. Yeah, it's an order. And who is the order for? ¿A quién se le da la orden? Al enfermo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Puede ser, verdad, no necesariamente sí. tiene que ser enfermo, pero... Eh, a una persona. Ajá. Y, a, y estoy hablándole a, a, qué, a qué clase de persona. ¿Primera persona? Estamos hablando indirectamente. A un paciente. Primera persona. Ajá, pero ¿es la, la primera persona? persona? A la segunda persona. Sí, es la primera persona. ¿A la pri ¿Quién es la primera persona? Uno. No. Yo. Ajá. 
la segunda sí, persona. Sí. Yo sé, yo o nosotros, ¿verdad? Yo me incluyo. O sea, esa es la primera persona. ¿Estamos hablando de la persona, a la primera persona? No. Segunda persona. Segunda persona. La segunda persona. Mm. So, le estoy hablando a, a, o puede ser, te estoy hablando a ti, o le estoy hablando a usted, o le estoy hablando a ustedes. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí okay. o no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ok. Igual, sea que le estoy hablando, sea que estoy hablando um, a ti o a usted o a ustedes, in English, what is that? How do you translate? Tú, usted, you. ustedes. How do you translate that? You. Exactly. You. Yeah. Exactly. So in English, the imperative that the imperative always has the subject you. The subject is always going to be used. Always, always, always. Because it's always you, then it's not necessary for me to add the word you. It's it's already implied. Yeah. Como, como no hay, no hay otro, no hay otro sujeto. Entonces ya sabemos que es you. That's why it's not necessary to use it. Does, does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Okay. So since we already know it's always going to be you, don't need to use it again. Sounds good? Sounds good, everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah? You sure? Sure. Okay. All right. Perfect. So now that you understand this, Um, I'm actually going to, uh, uh, let me, let me make a screenshot of this so you can have it. It'll be a little bit easier to understand. I already take a screenshot. Oh, good, good, good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So here it is. I screenshot okay and what we're going to be doing is working on some exercises uh using the imperative okay so okay um can you tell me if you can see my screen? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to be completing these sentences using the vocabulary in this box. So you can use call, listen, see, take, not worry, not work. Sorry, not go, not worry, not drink, or not eat. Now, two of them have already been done, so you can eliminate the call and don't worry. Okay. Do we understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to send this in the group again. Also. Please tell me if you have received it. Yes, you have received it? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, okay, just making sure that um, that I can put you into break rooms with somebody that is there. Oscar, are you there, Oscar Mauricio?
Yes. Was gonna... Okay, perfect. Uh, is it possible for you to turn on your camera? Okay. Okay, thank you. And Janetti Raita? Are you there? Janetti Raita? Okay, no está entonces. Daniel Córdoba. Córdoba, perdón, Cardona. Sí, aquí estoy. Ok. ¿Podría hacerme un favor, Daniel? Eh, necesito que me cambie su nombre para que se mire su nombre completo. Ya sabe cómo hacer eso. Fíjese que no le escucho ahorita porque hay un ruido afuera. Oh, ok. ¿Puede participar? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, ok. Ok, perfecto. Brian Enrique. Brian Enrique. Henry, sí. Oh, sorry, sorry. Perdón, no sé por qué se me... Por qué leí, Enrique. Um, ok, so, Brian Henry, sorry. Ok, you, can you participate? Sí, sí. Yes, ok, perfect, perfect. Um, entonces, solo Janet y Raita no están. ¿Correcto? <laughs> Okay. Bueno, um, mm. okay, just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I already sent, yeah, I, I sent. Okay, so I already sent it to the class and I'm going to get you guys to work in breakout rooms and to complete it, I'll give you a few more minutes about Six, seven minutes. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Oscar, ¿no tienen problemas para entrar? Oscar. El siguiente sería... Don't no, go. No. Don't go. Don't go to school. Ajá. Y right. quiero ver el cinco sería stay, stay to relaxing. El, el seis sería... Mm, see a doctor. Uh -huh. 
El 7, don't drink coffee. Y el 8, don't eat any candy. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Correcto. Sí. Eso sería. So you guys are finished? Yes. Really? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, we're finished. Oh, okay. Um, are you sure? Yes. We 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 finish the the box. Okay, perfect. Um I'm gonna go and check the other groups and see how they're doing. Okay. Okay. Hasta el 7 de agosto. Hasta el 7 de agosto, chévere. ¿Qué? De retope. Bueno, no han dicho nada. Todavía no, no. Dicho nada. Are you guys are you guys finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Really? Yes. Sí. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay. What? All right, guys, are you finished? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be checking, checking our answers to see if they are correct. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. 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 Yeah? Okay. Okay. All right. So let's check here. The first one has the first ones have been done for you. Um, so we have call a dentist. Don't worry too much. Number take three. Take, take two aspirins. Take two aspirins. So notice it's take, not not drink. You don't drink two aspirins, you take two aspirins. Okay. Yeah. Next. Not go. Don't go. Don't go to school. Good. Don't go to school. Next. Listen. Listen to the music. Listen. Sorry. Listen. Listen. Um. Can be a C two relaxing. No. Listen to music. Listen to music. Uh, 
the sentence is not complete mm -hmm. uh, to relaxing music is the sentence uh, yeah. listen listen to music listen to, listen to music listen to yeah listen to i music. i agree i agree we're missing the word music and yes okay yeah that that's that's the problem okay so listen to relaxing music yes okay so um so here it'd be listen 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 to relaxed music whenever you use the word listen most of the time we're going to be using with two listen to okay okay next see see a doctor see a doctor Good. Coffee? Don't, don't drink. Don't drink, don't, don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Next, number eight. Don't, don't, eat, don't eat, eat, eat in can. Hmm? Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Good. All right. Any questions at this moment? No. I'm sure. Oh. It's okay, no problems. Okay. All right, let's stop sharing here. Okay, so now that you have that, you would be able to easily look at people's prop, look at people and see their problems and give advice. So do you see this picture here? Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we are looking at these two pictures here. Oh, sorry, these four pictures here. And it, we're going to be giving the people advice. So for example, I have a toothache. The first person says, I have a toothache. Remember talking about ache, right? Yes. You don't say ach, it's ache. Ache. Yeah. Ache. So I have a toothache. Oh, I have a toothache. So, so the 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 imperative or the the suggestion, the the um direction it would be call a doctor. Oh, call a dentist. Mm -hmm. Or call a dentist. Yeah, exactly. So you give you you can. I mean, there are many 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 different advice but you can decide what you think would be logical. Something that somebody should do or something that somebody should not do. Okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing and we're gonna, I'm gonna send you this in the WhatsApp group. Okay, you received it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Eh, me quiero asegurar que estén todos ahí. Oscar Mauricio. Sí, acá estoy. Okay, good. Brian Enrique. <laughs> Perdón. Henry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Eh, I mm -hmm. see your name and I, I, match, I immediately think Enrique. Okay, so Brian Henry. Book. Okay, you're are you are you able to participate? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Y Daniel Cardona. Yeah, before you. Okay. Todavía tengo su nombre eh, incompleto. Le puede afectar ahí con la asistencia, así que. Eh, le pido de favor si puede cambiar su nombre. No sé si ya sabe cambiarlo.
No, teacher, no. Ok, vaya. ¿Está desde la computadora o desde el celular? Celular. Ah, celular, ok. Bye. En la barra de herramientas, on, en la parte donde está su cámara y su, eh, y su micrófono, ahí abajo debería de decir participantes. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? sí. Haga clic en sí. participante o me ha hecho... Eh, toque participantes y ahí le va a salir eh, la lista de los participantes incluyendo usted mismo sí, aquí la... estoy perfecto, Entonces, a la par de su nombre va a haber dos pun... Pero, tres puntitos toque esos tres puntitos y ya le va a salir la opción de cambiar nombre ahorita ya estoy ahí ok, le va a entonces a salir una, eh, una casilla y ahí entonces ya digita su nombre completo. Ah, bueno. Ok. ¿Hay alguien que no pueda participar? Ok. So everybody can participate. Okay. Ahí está, dicho. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Okay, so um, I'm going to then put you into breakout rooms. Um, Hamilton, you have a question? Solo voy a recibir una llamadita de la empresa. Ah, okay. Entonces no puedo participar ah, uno, ahorita. Uno, unos tres minutos y, y me incorporo. Okay. Um, bye. Perfecto. Um, okay. So I'm going to Okay. So I'm going to um, put you guys into breakout rooms there and you can decide two of the um, directions you can give. Okay. So here we go. Let's open the rooms. Oscar Alexander, ¿está teniendo problemas para entrar? Hola, Oscar. Por ejemplo, aquí sí te voy a Casi todos... son como síntomas de algo. Eh, Ajá. Lo más normal que harías una, un dolor de cabeza. Tomarse una Tomar. acetaminofén. Exacto. Take a two aspirin, take a uh, take two acetaminofén or or maybe she didn't sleep well. Last night and the, the, don't sleep late at night. Could be true. Very good, guys. Um, continue it like that. Just make sure that you are continuing in English, okay? Okay. And sleep late at night. When I have the flu, the first thing you do would be take cold pills and if that doesn't work you go see a doctor there could be two options uh, but when i can sleep at night i don't have the problem marvin Oi. and 
Have you ever had the problem that you can't sleep at night? Que no te entiendo nada. Um, eh, you can't sleep at night. You can sleep at night. Mm. Maybe you can make uh, Have you ever some some signs. You can you can talk to him in signs like make gestures so that he can understand sleep at night. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, uh, have you ever had the problem? Do you uh, do you understand when I say you have a problem that you can't sleep at night? You can't make this. Have you ever had si puedo dormir, si puedo dormir en la noche, si me cuesta uh -huh. dormir en la noche. Exactly. Yes. Sí, espérame. Uh, no, no. No, no, understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, sir, you understood. Marvin, you understood. You you he asked a question, you you did it correctly. So okay. Um so what, what did he ask? Sometimes, you? sometimes. Marvin, what did he ask you? Teacher, me cuesta entender, teacher. Okay, but but you can do it. O sea, costar que algo le cueste no significa que no se pueda. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. So. That's right. So, what was, what did he ask you? What was the question? Mm -hmm. what, 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 what did Maximiliano ask you? What was the question? Que yo le pregunte a Maximiliano. No. No. What did he ask you about sleeping? He asked you, can, do you have a problem to sleep at night? Mm. Por dolor de cabeza, digamos. Okay. No. okay. Okay. So I, I think, I think he's telling you that he has, Sometimes he has problems to sleep because he has a headache. Right? Uh, that's my sense. Yeah? So you have, Marvin, yeah. sometimes you have headaches. You have headaches and you can't sleep? <laughs> Marvin, you have headaches. Headaches. Uh, headaches. Me duele la cabeza. Yeah? And you can't sleep? You can't sleep? You can't sleep? Yeah. You can't, can't? Marvin, you can't sleep. You can't sleep? Yes or no? You... Yes. Yeah, that's the problem? Yes. Okay. It's problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. The, so continue keep on um, speaking English okay Marvin the more you speak English the more you will understand but continue practice 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 okay no Spanish no Spanish okay, okay. I know I know it's difficult but you will understand so be patient 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 and you will understand okay 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 good good so what what do you do when you can
Hello, Oscar, Mauricio, Ryan. Sí, guapa. Uy. What happened? What happened? Are you finished? Finished? Sí, yo sí lo hice, pero mi compañera no, no contestó. Así que no sé. Brian, ¿qué pasó? Este, me tiraba para la reunión, no sé por qué motivo. ¿Cómo? No sé, la misma aplicación me sacaba para regresar a la reunión. Uh, ok, pero, pero entonces, o sea, ¿está usted en, usted ha estado aquí en, en, en la clase? Sí, sí. ¿Sí? Pero sí, cuando nos pasaron para hacer el grupo, fue que les decían para la reunión, o sea, regresar o, o registrarse, sí, ¿sabe por qué? Ok, pero, pero ha estado trabajando con Oscar. No, no. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Por, por qué no, por qué no, no, no han trabajado juntos? Yo estaba hablando, pero no me contestaba. Pensé que no estaba acá. Ajá, era por lo mismo. Ah, porque dice que lo ha estado sacando. Ah, o sea, que ha estado entrando y saliendo. Supongo. ¿Ryan? Hola. Sí, es coach. Algo así, pero no es que me haya sacado, sino que me decía para regresar. No sé si me doy a entender. Este. Aquí me decía que cuando uno se sale de Zoom y entra a la aplicación. Ajá, ¿qué le decía? ¿Cómo? Quizás la señal le ha estado fallando, digo yo. Mm, puede ser. Bien. Ok, bueno, well, continúa. Ahorita que, se, que, que no les está fallando la señal, trabajen juntos. Ok. Entonces, Brian, vos, este... ¿Sabes qué es lo que vamos a hacer? No, yo ahorita no, no sé muy bien. Vaya, yo lo que he entendido es que eh, envió al grupo de, de WhatsApp un, una captura donde hay ah. cuatro imágenes. ¿Lo puedes ver? Pero como hablo con dispositivo, estoy permitiendo. Yo, yo igual con, con, con celular estoy. ¿eh? Por eso no te puedo compartir eso. Ajá. Ajá. En el grupo de WhatsApp este, envió esa, esa captura. El último, es ¿verdad? Sí, donde aparece de que en el número uno dice que tiene un dolor de muelas, el segundo dice que tiene dolor de cabeza, el tercero dice que tiene fiebre y el cuarto dice de que no puede dormir en la noche. Entonces, tenés que llenar, creo yo, por lo que he entendido, tenés que rellenar en los espacios de abajo, por ejemplo, en el número uno que dice de que tiene el dolor de cabeza, Abajo dice que vas a llamar a tu dentista. Entonces yo creo que lo tenés que relacionar con, el penul con la penúltima captura que envió, que, es, eh, que digamos que la, lo rellenamos, que sería la de... Mmm, donde dice... Complete the sentence and use the correct form of the word. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. What happened? Nothing. I'm drinking water. Okay. Are you finished? Yeah. Really? Are you sure? Yes. So, uh, two examples. So, for cada Bridge problem. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> 
instrucciones prácticamente de lo que estuvimos viendo. Yo hace poco me incorporé, como les comenté en el chat, que uh -huh. iba a ir por la línea a las 3 de la tarde. Entonces lo que alcancé a entender es que teníamos que darles este, o, órdenes eh, de lo que tenían que hacer con su enfermedad. ¿no? Como la primera que decía call a dentist. Yeah, so you have to give, you have to give advice. Give advice, depending on the problem. Okay. I have a headache. And for example, take aspirin or see a doctor. Dice, I have the para tu ¿Ah? Pero que te, ya había estudiado anteriormente varios años, quizás, porque se entiende bastante. O sea, le entiende bastante. Sí, estudié en la universidad, estaba estudiando de ahí por cosas. No pude terminar. Le hice aquí un curso, pero dejé de practicar hace como un año y algo. Are you, are, you, are you guys finished? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, but uh, we have a question. For example, in the last, I can't sleep at night. We write, don't drink coffee, but I'm not sure. Don't drink coffee? Yeah. Don't drink coffee. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Any other, questions? Any other questions? No. No? No. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, all right, guys and girls. Um, so I suppose that you all are finished. So uh, let's let's do it together. Now, um, remember that this is not the, like there are many, many possible answers. Like if I write something down, it's not the only answer, okay? So we have call a dentist. This is for a toothache, right? What's another mm -hmm. another possibility? Don't be Don't what? See a doctor. Okay, see a doctor. Okay, see a doctor. So there are many, many possibilities, but this isn't one of them, okay? Next. I have don't a headache. Only candy. Take an aspirin. Okay. All right, we could say take an aspirin. And the other one, what did you say? Take a what? I'm sorry, don't what? Don't sleep late at night, maybe. Okay, uh, don't go to sleep late. Don't go. Wow. Don't, don't go want to water. sleep <laughs> late at night. What, what was that? Sorry, I didn't hear. No escuché esa última. Perdón, no escuché esa última. What did you say? Okay, all right. I, I, I thought I heard something. Okay, I have the flu. Go to bed and relax. 
See a doctor. Okay. Go to bed and relax. Okay. And another one? See a doctor. Okay. See a doctor. Drink more water. Some okay. Drink more water. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't sleep at night. Drink uh, milk. Drink milk. Drink hot milk. Don't drink okay. coffee. Drink hot milk. Okay. And don't. Don't eat any candy. Drink... Candy. Sorry, don't drink coffee. Okay, good. Any questions about this? No. Drink coffee. Drink hot milk. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go on. All right. So we have officially finished uh, unit 12. Okay. So you should be able to do the second, um, the, the second unit. Okay. All right, eh, so necesito que um, para, ver. bueno, definitivamente para ese fin de semana eh, tienen que haber ya terminado la segunda unidad y están empezando la tercera, ok, pero por lo menos la segunda tiene que estar terminando porque ya, ya hemos hecho ya la, la la unidad 11 y la 12, que es la 11 es la primera unidad y la 12 es la segunda unidad. Ok, so any questions so far? No, no, no. Okay, uh, in my case, I already finished the, the all the platform. Oh. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, great. Yes, no problem. If you if you can finish before, it's okay. No problem at all. That's even better. O sea, no hay restricción de, de cuánto pueden ir avanzando. Lo que sí es que deben de ser min, minimum. Minimum doing unit one and two um, in the platform by this weekend. Okay, eso sí. Okay. I nearly finished the, the three section, the section number three. Oh, wow. That's excellent. That's very, very good. Um, yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent, guys. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start with the third um, unit, which is actually unit 13. And a... Tell me if you can see my manual. Yes. Yes. I can see. Any questions? Uh, sorry. Sorry. Could you see? Everybody can see it. Yes. Yes. Travel check. Go to the bank. Hmm. Sorry? Sorry, can you repeat that? Nothing, you need to sample the picture. Uh -huh. hey. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually, um, uh, this is a picture of places and things. So what you can buy, what you can get in different places. So the first word is aspirin. Can you repeat aspirin? Aspirin. Aspirin. Mm -hmm. okay. Aspirin. So this one's easy, right? It's super easy because, well, we've already been talking about this. Bread. 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 Bread.
A dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. Gasoline. 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 A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Stamps. 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 A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Traveler's checks. Traveler's checks. Traveler's checks. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No, I have questions. No questions about that? No. No. I'm good. Okay, good. All right, now let's look at this. We have a bank. 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 A drugstore. A drugstore. A post office. A post office. A post office. A post office. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A, a restaurant. restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A department store. A department store. A department store. A department store. A supermarket. A supermarket. A supermarket. A supermarket. Okay. Do you have any questions about the places? No. No, I think I was too. No, I think I was too. No questions about the vocabulary? No. No? That's good. Really? So what is the department store? Oh, sorry. Can you give me an example of a department store? In Spanish? Metro, una tienda departamental. So can you give an example of it? Iman. Hmm? Almacenes Iman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So a department store is one of those stores where you can find anything, um, depending, like, they have different sections in the store, like for, like, for example, women's clothes, men's clothes, children's clothes, uh, clo uh, things for the, yeah, uh, electric domestics, right? So, or better said, um, home appliances, that's what we call them. Home appliances. Um, Home. Yeah, or for example, we have things for the kitchen. Yeah. Um, okay, things like that. Um, all right. Do we understand no. post office? Yes. Post office. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, okay, good. So if you have like a letter, you would send it to the post office. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to do is match. Match these kind of things to the places in the picture here. For example, an aspirin. Where can you get an aspirin? You get it at a drugstore. A drugstore. Yeah, which is, which is the same thing as a pharmacy. No. Okay. 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 Any questions? No. 
Oh. Okay. So I think you can do this individually right now. I'll give you a few minutes to match. I already did. Okay, are you ready to check now? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Anybody need more time? Okay, so where can you buy bread? A supermarket. A supermarket. At a supermarket. Right, very good. At a supermarket. Okay, so we're going to just put the letter H because it's easier to find. Supermarket, good. Where can you buy a dictionary? At the bookstore. Where? At the bookstore. At the bookstore. A bookstore. If. Right. A bookstore would be a letter F. Letter F. F. Good. F. Excellent. F. Where could you get some gasoline? A gas station. Just D. D. Good. A gas station, letter D. Where would you get a sandwich? In the restaurant. In the restaurant, letter E. In the restaurant, letter E. Very e. good. Mm -hmm. Where could you get stamps? Uh, post office. At a post office. <laughs> letter yeah. C. At a post office, letter C. Good. Okay. Where would you get a sweatshirt? Oh, uh, the department store. Letter, letter G. G. G at a department store. Uh, Good. Uh, Where would you get a traveler's check? At a bank. bank. At letter a bank. A. Very good. At a bank. Letter A. Do you have any questions about this? Uh, uh, teacher, teacher, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, what is a traveler's check? I don't know. Mm. Uh, uh, okay. I don't, I don't know if, if it's cheque de viajero. Mm? Something like that. Cheque de qué? 
Sé que es de viajero. Es como tener una choquera, solo que ya no se usa, por eso es que tal vez no lo, no lo relacionamos. Yeah, exactly. I I don't I think they still do have them, but um they're not very common anymore. Um yeah, so tra traveler's check is it's like um yeah, it's 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 basically a check that you use when you're going to travel to another country and instead of instead of um in, instead of taking the the cash with you 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 bring a check so that you can cash it at a at a bank a local bank and it's safer that way because um it has like a guarantee it's not very common nowadays because now now it's much more common to do things like online banking right that is much or more use, secure, much more safe. Or use your credit card. Too. Or use your credit card, yeah. But if you, even if you want like cash, it's easier just to um, transfer money, um, you know, from your 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 your. Yeah, you you can transfer money uh, from one bank to another bank, um, or you can. Um, or simply you can take money from your your bank account, take it out at the ATM, right? So that's more, it, now it's, it's more practical to do it that way. That's why traveler's checks doesn't really exist. And, I mean, they do, I'm sure they do exist, but you don't really use them anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions that you have? No? Okay, so everything is pretty clear then from those that vocabulary? Yeah? Okay, perfect. So now we're going to be have we're going to have a conversation uh, between two people, a man and a woman, that are going to be talking about um, where things are in a city. Okay, so please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see. Perfect. Okay, so. Listen and repeat after me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me? Can you help Can me? Help? Is there a public restroom? Is there Is a there public, public restroom? restroom? Around here? Around here? A public restroom? A public, public restroom? restroom? Hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm, so. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. My son needs a restroom. My My son son the restroom. Restroom. Well, there's a restroom. Well, 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 there well, is a well, restroom. restroom in the, the department store. In the, the in department, department store. store on Main Street. On Main, Main Street. Street. Where on Main Street? Where, Where on Main Street? Street? It's on the corner of Main. It's on the it's corner of Main. And First Avenue. And First Avenue. Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? On the, on the corner, corner of Main and First? Yes. 
it's across from the park. Yes, yes. yes. across from yes. the park. You can't miss it. You can't, you can't miss, it. miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a, lot. a lot. A lot. Okay, great. Bravo, excellent. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, the meaning of the word? No, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Really? No questions? Yes. Okay, so all the words are clear. What about the pronunciation? Any questions about pronunciation? No questions about pronunciation? Okay, in that case, I'm going to ask you to practice this conversation in pairs. Normalmente solo quiero asegurarme que si tengan una pareja. Is so uh, Hamilton, are you are you there? Hamilton? Mr. Um, Hamilton. By Oscar? Oh there, perfect, okay. Brian? Brian Brian Henry? Yes. Let's yes? go. Okay, perfect. And Oscar Mauricio? Here. Okay, so you are able to participate, Oscar? Yes. Okay, great, perfect. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm going to um, open the rooms right now. Here we go. Voy a hacer toda la parte de la mujer entonces. Y después cambiamos. Yes. Dale, pues. Excuse me. Can you tell me? Is there a public space room around here? Public press room. I am sorry, I don't think so. Oh no. My thing is a restroom. Well, there are a restroom in the department store on my street. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the depart department, department store on my street. Where on my street? It's on the corner of my 
and the fear has been oh the corner of main and first yes it's across from the park you can miss it thanks a lot another round you begin excuse me Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on the main street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. One more time. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A uh, public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where in Main Street? It's in the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner in May and Fifth. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank you a lot. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a poly? Okay, guys and girls, how are you doing? Any problems? No. No? no. Okay. So, all the vocabulary is clear? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Any questions about pronunciation? Mm, nothing. No, you sure? No questions about pronunciation? Okay. All right. So, guys, what we're going to do then is finish off for today. But tomorrow, we're going to continue with um, this, this, um, this unit. And we should be finished unit three by tomorrow. Okay, so we'll finish um, a unit thirteen, which is uh, which is the third section in our um, platform. So you should, in theory, um, be finished. You uh, the um, unit three this this. This weekend and well, basically the whole the whole vacation. Um, 
because we're going to be having class until the 11th, right? So el, el 11 de agosto es, sería la próxima clase después de, de este fin de semana. Entonces, tienen, van a tener ustedes todo lo que es, um, o sea, este fin de semana y además la siguiente semana. O sea, porque acuérdense que vamos a estar en vacaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, tienen toda la semana prácticamente, vamos a suponer que estaríamos hablando de casi dos semanas completas. Entonces, mi sugerencia es que no se limiten al solamente terminar la unidad 3. También, va, ah, por cierto, también tiene que ser el midterm, ¿verdad? O el examen medio. Y les sugiero, de ser posible, que pueden ustedes terminar e ir avanzando. Y si, ah, pueden ustedes hacer las unidades 4 o, el, o por lo menos empezar con el examen final. Sería excelente, de, de tal forma que ustedes no estén a última hora teniendo que hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma, bueno, porque van a tener dos semanas, dos semanas completas, ahí, bueno, casi completas ahí para terminar, eh, tanto la unidad 3 como si ustedes quieren poner adelantar, ¿ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan hasta el momento? Solo una observación, Ticha. Uh -huh. Conforme al calendario, luego que hablamos de vacaciones, tenemos dos clases, una el 11 y el 12 de agosto. Y nos aparece ubicada la última clase el 14 de agosto. Ese día estamos laborando para ver si puede pedir que se la reubiquen dentro de nuestro descanso. ¿El 14 están laborando? Yes. Ah, exacto, eso. No, no, ¿Sí? Sí. Sí, porque en, te, en teoría sería solamente días que, que no son ahora laborando. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, pues, un... 11 y 12, pero 14 ya es tomando el, el día de turno, ya está dentro del día de turno esta clase. ¿Y el día 10? ¿Laboran el día 10? Sí. Saliendo de noche o de día. Está... Sí, estaríamos de día. De día. Para que nos pongamos en contexto, trabajamos cinco días, descansamos dos, trabajamos cinco noches, descansamos tres, para que usted arme también ahí la secuencia de eso, teacher. Eh, bueno, es que en realidad no soy yo la que lo armo. O sea, es, eh, son... Eh, el... bueno, entonces, perdón, perdón, entonces. Ah, no, no hay problema. Eh, solamente es para tener un contexto de, les puedo avisar, ahí a administración cómo está la situación para que yo pueda decirles vaya, ese día pueden tener clase este día no entonces um, por eso pero... perdón sería dedicarlo el 18 o 19 de agosto okay. la última clase que está en el vale, entonces solo para asegurarme entonces el día el día 14 ustedes van a estar trabajando. ¿Qué hay del, que el día, ¿qué hay del día 10? Estaríamos de turno. Estarían de turno. Yes. ¿Significa que ustedes estarían trabajando ese día o es que están saliendo ya por la mañana? Ese, no, ese día estamos trabajando. Están trabajando. Están, de noche estaría... están compartiendo ahí el horario laboral para que ponerla, que nos ayude a trasladar la observación. Okay. Sabemos que no es usted la responsable, pero ayúdenos a trasladar la observación que le hacemos. Ok. Perfecto. Entonces. Um, pa, no, no, no entiendo muy bien. Los, los días. Lo, lo tendríamos, días de... tendríamos libre el día 18 y 19 de agosto para terminar la última clase. Ah, vaya. Sí, porque el día 18, eso no, no, no veo ahí en el calendario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
No, es que como nosotros hacemos cabal cinco días, descansamos dos y después vamos con cinco noches. Entonces justamente el lunes 14, que está programada la, la, la última clase, ese día nosotros tendríamos que entrar a hacer nuestra segunda noche. Ok. Entonces, usted el, el día, el, el siguiente día, pero el siguiente día de descanso para ustedes, después del día del día 12, ¿sería hasta el 18? Sí. Exacto. Viernes 18 y sábado 19. Ok. Bueno, entonces voy a hacer la observación ahí. Voy a hacer la observación ahí para que eh, puedan ustedes, para, para, que, para que no haya ningún inconveniente. Eh, solo déjenme revisar una cosa más antes de dejarlos ir. Okay, quiero ver. Vale, entonces, um... Sí, porque de hecho estamos programando. Sí, no, no se puede. Ok, perfecto. Entonces yo voy a pasar ahí la observación para que podamos ahí hacer los, los ajustes necesarios. Eh, y así ustedes no tengan que, que, que preocuparse por, por ese día. Ok. okay. Um, uh -huh. Así que tranquilos, no hay problema. Ok. So guys, um, that will be all for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay. All okay. right. See you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.